Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to manage books and PDF files on your iPad using iBooks, along with syncing using iTunes on a Mac or Windows computer. The first thing you'll need to do is download iBooks. That can be found in the App Store. I happen to have mine in a folder named Lifestyle that it auto-named, but there's the App Store. Download it for free. Once you have that, you can open iBooks. If we open iBooks, you'll see that in here is nothing, but under collections, we have a couple different options. We have books, purchased books, and PDFs. If I go to books, you'll see there's one book here, The Story My Life by Helen Keller, and we can add to our collection by going to the store. We can do this all from the iPad by itself. We have some different options here. We'll go to books and we can pick whatever we want. We can search for whatever we want and simply add those. If I just pick up and tap on this particular book, we can view a sample or we can buy the book. Once we do that, it will auto load into our library and show up here for us to read. If you have this little cloud icon here, that means that you have the book, but it isn't on this device. You can simply tap on it and it will download to the device. It just shows you what you've already purchased or downloaded in the, in the past and it makes it easier to access. Now again, if we want PDFs, we can find those under a different selection. Since we don't have any PDFs, there's a couple different ways to get a PDF onto your iPad. The first or easiest way we'll talk about is through email. If it's a small enough file, you can just email it to yourself. If I go over to the email app or mail app, you'll see that we're in a document. I've just simply named it PDF. I mailed it to myself and it's on the left here. And because it has a paper clip, it means it has an attachment. Even though it's a PDF, it shows up as normal text. But if we tap and hold that text, because we know it's an attachment, it will give us, give us options to open it in iBooks or any other application that can read a PDF. If I open it in iBooks, it will switch over to iBooks and put it in iBooks. So now we have it in iBooks. We go back to our library and it's right here. If we want to delete it, we can do that by hitting edit, tapping on it and hitting delete. That's pretty much the easiest or most straightforward way of putting a PDF on. But if that PDF is a larger file that might be a hundred pages long, it's probably too big to email. So we'll need to plug it into our computer to get it onto our iPad. Let's do that now. Once you've connected your iPad to your Windows PC or Mac, you'll need to open up iTunes. In many cases, it will actually open on its own. So I'll open it here. And this is iTunes 11. It's the most recent version of iTunes. So if you don't have that, this may look a little bit different, but it is free from iTunes.com or Apple.com. So I would highly suggest you get that version as it's a little bit different and simpler in many ways and a lot faster in a lot of other ways. The first thing we see here are some books that I've downloaded for free. You can get those in the iTunes store here, but we won't talk about that. It's basically the same thing as I showed you before on the iPad. So you can see we have Little Women, Little Men, a gluten-free cookbook, and a couple others. On the left here we have books, and this lets us switch between music, movies, TV shows, books, and apps. Now the fastest way we can get a book onto the iPad is actually just click on the book you want. So in this case, I guess we'll pick Little Women click and hold and drag. As soon as you drag it to the left or right, my device will show up on the right. You can see there's my iPad. Then I hover over it and highlights, let go, and it will begin to sync up here. It will just dump itself onto my iPad. And once it's done, we'll be able to go to the iPad and read it. We can do the same for PDFs. And you can see this is along the top here. We have audiobooks, books, PDFs, authors, and lists. If I click on PDFs, you can see I have a PDF. It's the exact same one I showed you before, but the same thing applies here. Click drag, and this will take a moment here. Click drag, and you can see my device shows up. So that's pretty much the easiest way to get something onto the iPad. Now there are a couple other ways you can do this as well. If I click on my iPad itself here in the upper right, you can see it shows information about my iPad. I can sync it via Wi-Fi. And if you really don't want to convert or change anything here, uh, that's fine. It should work just as well. Since we're dealing with books, we'll click on books here at the top. And you can see we have the option to sync books. Now, a lot of the time you may be needing to get a PDF from someone else and 
you don't really want to use sync because if I click on it, you'll see it wants to erase everything. It's saying, are you want, are you sure you want to remove everything because you haven't synced with this computer? Well, I don't really manage my iBooks and music the same way, and I don't really sync, but you can use this option and anything you add to iTunes will automatically be added. It works the exact same way and we can select selected books. So we'll just go ahead and show you that remove and sync. We can select specific books or all of them. And if I just want this one and maybe this one and audiobooks are down here as well, we can click done and it will just show up on our device. I won't apply this for now since I want to kind of keep things the way they are, but I think you'll get the idea as far as that goes. Now, the other thing you can do as well is take things off of the iPad or add them in another way as well. So what we want to do is click on apps here at the top. So again, we're on our iPad again, click on apps and you can manage all your apps. You can drag and drop just the same, but down here, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see file sharing. The apps listed below can transfer documents between your iPad and this computer. So that means into the computer or back out from the computer into the iPad. And you can see I have a few different Apple applications. We have Amazon Kindle, a couple different things I use regularly. If we go to pages where our books are, you'll see that we have a document there. We can't move the book, but that's already on our, on our computer. So that doesn't really matter, but we can move the PDF that we've imported or created. And we can do that just by simply clicking on it. You can see it's highlighted here. We can click save to pick our save location and save the document. If I click on it, it'll say that it's already there, but I can replace it or not replace it. We can also add directly to pages from here. So instead of dragging and dropping the PDF, we can just simply click add. We can select the PDF, open it. And again, it's going to give us the same dialogue. I'll say replace and now it's synced. So there's a couple different ways that you can do things within iTunes and between your iPad. It makes it really easy to sync things between the two and uh, should be pretty simple or straightforward, hopefully after seeing this video. If you have any questions or comments, please place those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.